Hello and welcome to another video of SpaceX updates. Today, SpaceX has once again conducted a stress test, or maybe a test to failure testing on Booster 7.1. After a gap of a few days without any testing on the launch site. Since tomorrow's road closure is cancelled, we are not gonna see a pre-burner or static fire of Starship 24 in July. The next road closure after tomorrow starts on Monday, August 1st. The next two to three weeks will be important for the static fire of Starship 24 and knowing the status of Booster 7. Prior to the fireball incident, Booster 7 passed multiple cryogenic tests. But if Booster 7 does come back to the pad again, the first thing SpaceX might want to do is to check all the plumbings and do a foolproof cryogenic test. That's gonna take some time. I don't know how realistic Elon's timeline of the first orbital flight in August is. Come on, we all want to see that 33 engines roar and soar into the sky. The fifth tower segment of the orbital launch tower 2 at pad 39A has been moved to the pad this evening. The stacking could be done as early as tomorrow. The segment is the most complex and heaviest of all the nine segments of the tower. NASA announced Wednesday that the agency finished the system requirements review for its Mars Sample Return Program, which is nearing completion of the conceptual design phase. You might remember NASA's Perseverance rover which landed on the surface of Mars on February 18, 2021. The rover not only takes beautiful pictures, but also collected Mars samples. So to return the collected samples to Earth, NASA is sending a Mars lander to return in 2033. 2033? That is more than a decade to go, and the whole project is estimated to cost nearly $10 billion. According to Elon Musk, SpaceX is planning to send the first humans to Mars in around 2025-26. And this NASA sample collector returns in 2033. Something is not adding up. Is SpaceX hyper-ambitious, or NASA will lag way too behind? What do you think? Share your thoughts in the comments section below.